Well, we all know Mr. Letts may not be the most organized teacher, <laughs> but whenever he does something, he does it 100% and wants everyone to succeed in the best way that they can. Yeah, and it's it's really refreshing to see a teacher that genuinely cares about his and about their students, and he always is open to have any conversations, even if we are all interrupting the class. <laughs> um, he's willing to have those conversations, so it's nice to see that he has that kind of, we can have fun, but we also need to get work done. I really value his ability to form relationships with his students. He is really able to connect with us on a personal level as well as on a professional level. And that helps us to feel so much so driven in his class and just feel like encouraged to pursue, like pursue um, bigger and better things and like just like be able to do the best that we can. Uh, one of the biggest lessons I've learned is mistakes are okay, especially loud mistakes. <laughs> um, Mr. Wentz loves loud mistakes because it means you're going 100% at whatever you're doing. And if you're messing up, then at least you're doing it with everything that you can and you're just gonna get better. I think one of the big things that Mr. Lentz has taught me is being able to like accept and like anticipate rejection almost and just be ready for that. Um, especially when I was auditioning for music school, I was so nervous and I did not feel qualified at all. And he really supported me and he like helped me see that like if I get rejected, it's not so much as like a failure as a growing point, And I think that's super valuable. Good evening. My name is Lillian Saunders. Um, I'm a senior this year at Monroe High School and we do this thing at our school called um, Impact Awards. And tonight, Mr. Lentz has been nominated for an Impact Award by multiple students. If you were one who nominated him, please step down. As you can see, Mr. Lentz had an impact. <laughs> um, Mr. Lentz has been my choir director um, for four years now. And I could not be more grateful to have someone as a mentor and as a cheerleader and a supporter and a teacher. And I am so very grateful for how he supported me in my, my career life, just supporting me and knowing that I wanted to go into music and really just pushing me to be able to pursue that. And I am so very grateful that he did. And I'm so grateful that he allowed me to really grow in his class and he really taught me a lot. So thank you. Mr. Lentz is always there for our seniors and for all of the students, and he really pushed me to be more outgoing and to really push myself because I'm a very quiet and shy person, and I am very grateful to have had him as a teacher, and I know that next year it's going to be very weird not walking into his room and seeing him every day, and I'm going to really miss it. As soon as I got the email about the Impact Award, the first person that came to my mind was Mr. Lentz. He always is there for all of his students. He can tell when you're having a rough day and he goes easy on you. He makes sure you're okay and he always checks up on you. And although I probably annoy him with my presence every day, all the time, I love to be in his classroom. So one thing I love about Mr. Lentz is that he genuinely cares about every single student no matter if he's known you for a day or for four years. I walked into his classroom my freshman year for lunch and he allowed me in there, which was probably a bad decision because now I never leave his classroom. <laughs> um, Mr. Lentz is good at giving advice. He's given me so much advice about life and about music and I will definitely miss him and I'm very grateful for him. Um, I did not prepare a speech, but I just want to say that I appreciate you and thank you for teaching me how to love music. 